Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW Personal Points Plan. Today we are talking all about my 2022 goals. I have some lofty goals moving into 2022. I'm also going to be sharing with you an amazing vision board that I found on Amazon, and we're going to recap my 2021 goals, and I'll let you know whether or not I reached those goals. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. Make sure you click the bell so you never miss a single upload. I generally upload about five days a week, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box down below where I will link the vision board. I do also offer nutrition coaching, personalized macros and calories, help you reach your goals in the new year. And of course, one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to talk with me directly, you're also going to find links and discounts to all of my favorite things. Another community that would love to have you is my Facebook group. So come on over and join us there as well. So let's jump in to recapping 2021 goals and setting some goals for 2022. <laughs> I've spent some time over the last couple of days put, filling out my vision board. So I bought this absolutely beautiful dry erase board style of vision board off of Amazon. It was super affordable. I thought that it was a little more aesthetically pleasing than the vision board that I used last year, which was a big piece of foam board from the Dollar Tree. Now don't get me wrong, that came in really handy and I did like that vision board, but this one I feel like is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And what I really appreciate about this is there's zero waste because I can reuse this vision board year after year. So I spent some time really going over my goals for 2022 and filling out the vision board with those goals. And like I mentioned, I have some pretty lofty goals for the next year. One of the features of this vision board that I love is that there's a spot for you to write in your focus word. I thought long and hard about one word that would sum up my focus for 2022. And that word for me is transformation. This is the year of transformation for me, not only physically, but mentally and with my overall health. Another really special feature of this board is that there's a place for you to write in some things that you're thankful for. I feel very blessed in my life and I have a lot of things that I'm thankful for. So I went ahead and wrote down my top five things in my life that I'm thankful for. Writing these five things on this vision board that's in my office where I spend a lot of time will be a constant reminder of everything I'm thankful for. The spot to the right of that is a place for you to write in what you're dreaming of. This was really hard for me. I wasn't sure where to go with this dreaming of section. I didn't know if I should focus on weight loss goals, health goals, family goals. So what I did is listed a few things that would be really special if I was able to obtain these in 2022. There's lots of lines for you to make notes as well as an open spot in the center, which is where I use to put in my weight loss goal for 2022. Since I'm on a weight loss journey, this is at the forefront of my mind all the time. So I utilize this center space to list out my weight loss goal. And you read that right. My goal for 2022 is to hit my goal weight. And this is a lofty goal because I still have a lot of weight to lose to hit my weight loss goal. I've also made a lot of dietary changes towards the end of this year based on health, but also based on the way that I feel and how success has been on the scale that I believe in myself and I truly think I can hit my goal weight in 2022. So I put that here again to be the forefront and a constant reminder of that huge goal that I've set for myself for the new year. I'm going to utilize these lines on both sides of this big goal to take notes throughout 2022 to write maybe how I'm feeling or how close I am to the goal. Maybe for every 10 pounds, I'll put a little check mark or write a little note on one of these lines. But I really want to focus on reaching my goal weight in 2022. So utilizing these lines will just, again, give me a constant reminder and give me a place to share how that weight loss goal is going. And down at the bottom of the vision board, you're going to see spots where you can write in your goals for 2022. So this is where I wrote in all of my other goals for this next year. Some of them are weight related, some of them are health related, some of them have absolutely nothing to do with my weight loss journey, but these are my overall goals, 
moving into 2022. Goal number one is to drink a gallon of water at least five times a week. Now, to be honest, I drink a gallon of water most days of the week, and I say most. And because I don't drink a gallon of water every single day, my biggest struggles are the weekends because I'm out and about and I don't always lug my big gallon water bottle with me. So I wanna commit to at least five days a week. And if I can get in six or seven days a week, that's a bonus. The next goal that I have is quite a hard goal actually, and this is to consume whole foods for my meals throughout the day. I really wanna focus on whole foods. I don't really wanna eat any processed foods at all. Now I know that everything is processed, even yogurt and cottage cheese is processed. I mean packaged, pre-processed, carby, sugary snacks. I really want to avoid those moving into this next year. In the event that I do have a crunchy snack, maybe I choose a Quest chip instead of a regular bag of potato chips because it at least I'm getting in some fiber and some protein. So I really wanna focus on a whole food diet for the entire year. Not only is this because it makes me feel better, I also lose more weight on the scale, but it's also for health reasons. I need to stay away from processed foods because I suffer from inflammation and processed foods can really play a big part in being inflamed. I also want to heavily focus on working out at least three times a week. Now, to be honest with you, my goal is actually five days a week. As I continue to take off weight, my workouts, although still hard, are easier for me. And the recovery time after my workouts is shortened a lot the more weight that I take off my body. And since my goal is to hit my goal weight this next year, I should be taking off weight and making my workouts a little less painful as the year goes on. So I'm committing to three days a week, but I'd really like to get in more like four or five days a week. I also have a real estate goal because if you didn't know, I am a realtor. Now I only do real estate part-time. My main focus is on YouTube. I do actually have three YouTube channels. So I spend a lot of time filming, editing, and uploading for YouTube, which is my passion, which is what I really love. But I do real estate on the side as well. So I have a goal this year to sell eight houses, whether these are houses I list or these are house houses that I have buyers for that purchase. Either way, I would like to see eight closed transactions for the year of 2022. Speaking of YouTube and speaking of this being my passion and my main career, I have some goals for all three of my YouTube channels this next year. So if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed, do me a favor and subscribe. It would definitely help me reach my goals. And if you don't subscribe to my nutrition channel or my beauty channel, I'd love to have you over there as well. So here on Jen's WW journey, I would like to end the year out with 45,000 subscribers. As of right now, I'm right Right around 36,000 subscribers. Now, generally we get quite a big influx of people dieting or joining Weight Watchers or a healthy lifestyle in January. So hopefully I can gain quite a few subscribers in the month of January, but I would love to hit my goal of 45,000 by the end of the year. You can help me by subscribing yourself, of course, and sharing my videos with anybody who you think may enjoy them and asking them to subscribe as well so that they don't miss out on any content. Currently on my nutrition channel, I have about 2,500 subscribers. I would like to double that. This year, I would like to reach 5,000 subscribers. I put a lot of time and effort into my nutrition channel. It takes a long time to research topics, write up scripts, film, edit. I would really like to grow my subscriber base because I feel like the information I'm sharing is valuable. So again, join me over there if you're interested in nutrition tips and tricks on how to lose weight and live a healthy lifestyle. And lastly, I do have a beauty channel. It is called Budget Beauty. We do a lot of just beauty related things over there. I do subscription unboxings, get ready with me's. I share my empties. I shop my stash. I do lots of eye looks. So if you love beauty, if you love makeup, definitely join me over there. I currently have about 1500 subscribers. Now I would love, 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 love to hit 5,000. I don't know if that's likely, but I would be happy with any growth on that channel because again, it takes a lot of time to put these videos out and I upload a lot on that channel because my passion besides my weight loss channel is beauty. I love all things beauty. I love makeup. I love skincare. I love anything related to beauty. Now my next goal goes hand in hand with my goal of losing weight this next year and, and hitting my weight loss goal. And that is I have a jacket. I'm gonna call this my goal jacket or the jacket that I can't squeeze into right now. But my goal by the end of the year is to wear this jacket. I bought this jacket on the Fashion Nova website. I saw it and I fell in love with it immediately. And when I went to order it, I looked at the sizes and I hemmed and I hawed about ordering my current size. And then I thought, you know what? You're gonna order a size large and you're going to fit in that size large by the end of 2022. So I ordered a large. My goal is to not only zip button 
button, but seal up this jacket and have room to spare by the end of the year. I'm really excited to have a tangible thing to focus on for non-scale victories. And this jacket is the jacket of 2022. I also want to travel this next year. Going to San Diego this last October to see my best friend kind of reignited that travel bug in me. And I would really like to do some extra traveling this next year. I have another trip planned to San Diego in March to do a fun run with my best friend. I also am considering going to Florida for a health convention in May. There's just a lot of things that I want to do this next year when it comes to traveling. With 2020 and even 2021, traveling just hasn't been something that I've been heavily focused on, but I miss it. So I definitely have the travel bug and I want to cure that travel bug a little bit this next year. And last but not least is a little bit of a fiscal or money type of goal. We have a savings account. We have a good cushion savings account, but I really want to focus on building that this next year. We have put a lot of money into our house in 2021. We remodeled our math bathroom. We put brand new floors in our house, our entire house. We did concrete curbing outside. We finished landscaping our yard. We're talking about $50,000 worth of work on our house in 2021. This next year, now that my house is exactly how I want it, we have a few small things to do in our yard, but nothing that's going to be thousands of dollars. My goal this next year is to save, save, save. I want to save most of the money that I make from real estate and really build up a nice, cushion in my savings. It's important to me because YouTube is never guaranteed. My income I make off of YouTube every month fluctuates tremendously based on views and how long you're watching the videos. And if you're watching the commercials, it fluctuates substantially. It's not guaranteed. It's not really something you can depend on. So it's really important for me to have a good savings account in place for those months where I just don't make enough to make ends meet. So those are my 2022 goals, my word of the year, my big lofty goal of hitting my goal weight. I'm really excited. As I filmed this video, as I filled out my vision board, my excitement just continued to grow. I'm so ready for 2022 and whatever it has to bring my way. Now it's time to take a look at my vision board for 2021 and we'll chat on whether or not I reached those goals. So I have my 2021 goals vision board here. I will go ahead and just insert some B-roll footage of the goals as we go over them. One goal I had for 2021 was to drink a gallon of water every day. And I would say that I did really well on this goal. Most days, like I said, I do drink a gallon of water. There may be one or two days a week that I don't quite get in a gallon, but I definitely drink a half of a gallon every single day. I'm really proud of myself for reaching this goal because this was new to me in 2021. And now I have just a love for water. I crave water in the morning. Once I'm finished with my coffee, I can't wait to get my first cup of water for the day. The next goal that I put out for 2021 was to give myself some type of self-care at least three times per week. I definitely did that. I did self-care more like four or five times per week. I often will do a face mask in the shower while I'm showering. I love eye masks and sheet masks. I get my nails done. I have pedicures. I self-tan. I do a lot of self-care things for me every single week because it keeps me sane and it's important to me to take good care of myself. I can't take care of my husband and my dogs or the people I love if I don't take care of myself. Goal for 2021 was to reach 40,000 subscribers on YouTube. And unfortunately, I didn't quite reach this goal. If you remember, at the end of 2020, I was so close to 30,000 subscribers, and I ended up reaching that by literally the last day of December. I'm not quite there. I'm about 36,000 subscribers, like I mentioned. So unfortunately, I'm not going to hit 40,000 for 2021, but I'm hoping for 45 by 2022. The next goal was a goal that I wasn't sure I was going to be able to achieve. I think I even mentioned this in that video, and that is to track my food every single day. I definitely didn't track every single day. I mean, to be completely honest, it didn't happen. I didn't set a tracking goal for 2022 because I've gotten a lot better at tracking and it's really a necessity for me now based on my health. I have to make sure I'm getting in my protein, my fiber, my calcium. So I'm in a sense, forced to track every single day. So I didn't make it a goal for this year, but I definitely didn't achieve that goal in 2021. The next goal that I set for myself was to work out three days a week. 
and I did this. I think that I worked out three days a week every single week. There may have been a couple that I only got in two days, but overall, I consistently worked out three days a week. This has really helped reshape my body as I lose weight. I feel strong, I have endurance, and like I mentioned, Jazzercise gets a little easier and the recovery time gets a little shorter as I continue to work out and as I continue to lose weight. So I set the same goal for the next year, with the hopes of even getting in one or two extra days. The next goal was to weigh in every single week. And I did this. I film a weigh-in video every single Friday here on my channel. I did not miss a single Friday in 2021. So I didn't make this a goal again because I consistently weigh in every single week. I also set myself a goal to sell eight houses in 2021. And not only did I sell eight houses, I actually closed 10 transactions in 2021 which is amazing. That is so, so incredible for someone who's only a couple years into real estate and it not being my full-time job. I'm really proud of myself for closing 10 transactions. There's months and months that go into each of these transactions. So this is a huge win for me. And my last goal and probably the most important goal for 2021 is I wanted to lose 50 pounds over the course of the year. I knew this was asking for a lot. I knew that I may not actually lose 50 pounds and I didn't reach that 50 pound goal, but I lost quite a bit of weight in the year of 2021. I steadily lost weight every single month, which is absolutely amazing, especially considering that I have some health issues that play an impact on weight loss. I've been seeing bigger numbers on the scale now that I've not only changed my diet, but started to take care of these health issues. And that's why I feel confident that I can reach my goal weight in 2022. I'll put here on the screen how much weight I lost in the year of 2021. And this is nothing to shake a stick at. I am absolutely thrilled that I was able to lose weight in 2021, lose this much weight, consider Considering all of my health issues and I just have a really good feeling really good feeling that 2022 is my year that's the year that I'm going to lose over 50 pounds and that I'm going to hit my goal so now I want to hear from you guys let me know what are your goals for 2022 any of your goals they don't even have to be weight loss related let me know down in the comments what your goals are this will help other people think of what goals they want to shoot for in the next year as well I'm really excited for the new year I'm ready I am ready. It is almost here and I'm ready. I can't wait to kick some you know what in 2022 and take you guys along with me every single step of the way. So if you enjoyed today's video, I would appreciate a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. Check out the description box for the vision board if you'd like to pick it up for yourself. It's framed, it's beautiful, and it's reusable, which was really important to me. Also nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join us on Facebook. We'd love to have you over there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for cheering me on, and thank you for being my support as we move into 2022. See you in my next video.